Welcome back to the channel. We have a new guitar day unboxing. So let's see what's inside. This was a Thanksgiving Day members only musician spring purchase. Gretsch, as you can see. Let's see specifically which one we have. This is a brand new guitar, one I have fancied for quite a while. Those long time viewers of the channel might recall there being a Gretsch that I hadn't really liked but had a couple of small issues with. I ultimately, when it came time to uh, fund other purchases, got rid of that one. Though I really liked it a lot. But this was actually the one that I preferred. And it's just very closely related. It seems to be pretty well packed. Very well packed. This uh, boy got a truss rod wrench. So let's see. Can already tell the neck feels nice. Let's see this. Nice stuff. Go. Okay, very good. Extra padding, I really appreciate it. This is a G5230T, I believe. I love those alphanumeric names. But I think Aleutian Blue, I'm wanting to say is the name. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. I'll try to figure it out. Uh, mahogany body. Rich headstock there. And neck, set neck. Bigsby black top filter Tron pickups. Uh, very nice nut. Really like the headstock. Uh, it's chambered. I'm not really a big fan of semi-hollow electrics for various reasons, including I love having control panels, not having to fish into F-holes when I'm doing work. But uh, very impressed so far. And it looks uh, just initial impressions. I actually did not plan to do this right now. I uh, came home uh, from work for lunch and it was uh, being delivered right as I was going back to work. So I'm on a little bit of a schedule. Uh, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this to the side, come back later today once I'm done with work and give it the full attention it deserves. But I gotta say, very impressed with the initial unboxing. Okay, let's take a little more in-depth look at this beautiful guitar. This is the Gretsch G5230T Electromatic FT. FT for filter trons, as these are the black top filter tron pickups, as opposed to the broad tron uh, full size humbuckers that are in a lot of the current Gretsch models. The uh, filter trons were one reason why I uh, really wanted this model in particular. I love the broad trons. I, uh, and this is a very uh, broad generalization. The broad trons are like a brighter, more articulate humbucker, and the filter trons are humbucking, but they are like a fatter, fuller single coil in their sound, in my opinion. Uh, some other specs of this guitar, in a little more detail than I did in the unboxing, it is a mahogany body. Beautiful grain. I, I can't imagine it's one piece, but I'm having a hard time finding the seam, I admit. Uh, but setting that as you can see, mahogany body, mahogany neck, uh, black walnut fretboard, so that's a little bit different, uh, synthetic bone nut, uh, that's a beautiful color of blue, a 24.6 inch scaling, so a little bit uh, shorter than a Gibson, and uh, it's wonderful, uh, these, uh, this is an electromatic, 
this is made in, I wanted to say, yes, this is made in China. Electromatic is one step up above Streamliner in the Gretsch line. And this is where you'll find a lot of the guitars and like the, again, depending on how expensive the construction is, in the $600 to $1,000 range, which that's very uh, rough generalization. Oh, also, I should say the uh, uh, half moon or thumbnail inlays, depending on who you ask. But uh, you may have seen my videos with the Streamliner uh, Junior Jets with the Broadtrons, and I really like those, but these are more nicely appointed. You see it has binding on the uh, sides and neck. Uh, the tuners work well, they're just basic tuners. Uh, U-shaped, thin U-neck is what they call it. Uh, that is what the uh, Streamliner Club Jets are. And it's a, it's a, I love this neck shape. Uh, I had the double cutaway version of this, you might recall, previously. I really liked it. I sold it because uh, I was needing to get rid of something. There were a couple things I uh, wasn't that thrilled about even though I really liked it at the time. Uh, it was around Christmas last year and expenses and such uh, and to make new for new, make room rather for new things, I got rid of it. One thing I didn't like on that guitar is the bridge rattled a little bit. This one does a little bit, but not as badly. I'm gonna try to fix that. There's a lot worse than the other one. And then the first one was the first uh, Bigsby that I ever had, but before even getting this guitar, for the next time I got a Bigsby, because it was such a pain changing strings on the other one, I got a Vibramate spoiler, I believe it's called. So uh, I'll try that out in the future. Might make a video about it, depending on whether or not it's very interesting, because honestly, I don't know. But uh, this is just a very basic uh, rundown. I'm going to do some more detailed sound samples mic'd with an SM57 through a couple different amps and some pedals. Right now I'm going through the Fender Champion 600 little tube amp. Again, just to give you a general idea, this is the bridge pickup. sound uh, than say a uh, Telecaster despite still being twangy and then for the controls I always have to remind myself of this because when you're used to like a Les Paul style setup when it's not a Fender style setup that's the tone that's the volume for the bridge This is the master volume. But again, this is the uh, bridge pickup. And we'll go to the middle position. Everything's on 10. Now it does have a little bit of taper to it too, which I like. Let's go through. It gets a little bit sudden at the end, but it has some uh, useful taper, which I've noted whether it's me or other people demonstrating them on YouTube, tends to not come through that well, admittedly, the way that the videos are compressed. But this is the uh, middle position with both pickups. And then we'll go to the neck. And again, the neck by this volume on its own. Yeah, it's just a master tone control. But uh, the neck now.
touch the Bigsby. Bigsby's good for a subtle uh, vibrato. Uh, this has, I like the action on this one better than the other. I think the other model, the double cut, I think is the G 5232T. This is the 5230, I believe. Uh, you gotta love the alpha numeric rich names. But the action's a little bit better. The spring's a little bit softer, which I like. And it doesn't, there's, doesn't have as much like that, uh, doesn't creak. But uh, we'll go out of tune if you dive bomb it. But uh, what I'll do now, as I've done this uh, basic run through, is uh, get a couple of amps and pedals other than this one, get the SM57 set up, and get some uh, more detailed sound samples. Now we're using the Boss Katana 1x12 clean channel, starting with the bridge pickup. to the bridge pickup. Turn the level up so.
bridge pickup. AC-10 starting with the bridge pickup.
See if I can remember this riff, which I think was played on the Gretsch. <laughs> some high gain. Had the Proco Red on going to the AC-10. Bridge pickup. That was with the gain on about seven. We're taking it up to about eight. Okay, let's take a look in a little bit more detail. Again, you have this beautiful blue finish. There's the binding, very nicely done. See the metal Gretsch knobs. Gretsch pick guard, it says electromatic in small letters under Gretsch, otherwise uh, you wouldn't know by looking that it wasn't a higher end model. Uh, this nice sort of barrel uh, tip toggle, which you do have to uh, be careful about that loosening up. Uh, as it unscrews there's the black top filter trons humbucking but smaller than a gibson style humbucker there's that black walnut fingerboard fretwork on this guitar is really good as you can tell there's the frets in relation to the binding i've uh, not polished them or changed the strings so uh, very good overall smooth uh not mirror polish but they look nice no issues with them think this is a 
synthetic bone nut. It is uh, cut well. Again, I just really like something about this, this black headstock with that binding. Uh, standard tuners there. And I'll flip it over as best I can with the Bigsby. I don't want to put it flat on the ground, but uh, nice wood grain. See the, not a contoured or sculpted heel or anything. Uh, looks like a, I would guess a three piece neck. You can see a seam there. Again, just standard tuners crafted in China, but uh, overall nice guitar. And just so you can see, because I know this is something, especially on inexpensive guitars, people like to know about. This is what the inside of the control cavity looks like. Nicely soldered, not sure uh, what branding that is on the pots. It's, uh, but they're big pots, uh, for lack of a better way of putting it. They're not the mini pots, but it's very tidy in there. You can see it's uh, the shadows. It's hard to tell really, but you can tell, uh, you can see a little bit of the chambering in there too. So all in all, that's uh, very nicely done, especially for that price point. So final thoughts. Uh, first, let me just say I love this guitar. It is absolutely fantastic. $6.99 regular price before any uh, holiday sales. And I think that's a, a very, uh, very reasonable price for a guitar like this. It's chambered. So if you're like me and want uh, a little bit of that semi-hollow sound without having, not all out semi-hollow sound, I won't do that exactly, but uh, get some of that flavor while still having back plates uh, to be able to work on the electronics, then uh, this might be the one for you. Really like this body style. I like the looks of the uh, single cut body style a little better than the double cut. The double cut looks really nice too. Uh, I will say the bridge is starting to rattle more the more I've played it, so I will likely address that, whether it be trying to uh, come up with a fix on this one. I. I honestly have to think of what I tried on the last one. I know there's a lot of uh, message board suggestions. I might end up getting the Mastery Bridge or one of the aftermarket ones. That might be a future video, but I'm not sending it back. I think it's just something that seems you're going to have to learn to live with if you're getting uh, one of these. Filtertron, Black Top Filtertron pickups sound amazing. Uh, they're some of my very favorite pickups. They have uh, a lot of clarity, uh, but a good bit of thickness to the tone, too. Uh, they just sound great in a variety of settings. Really good clean. It's amazing how good they sound, both clean and how uh, well they sound when you, they get more heavily distorted. Well, let's see, what else? The fretwork, you know, just great quality guitar. Again, uh, I think maybe I can see the seam a little bit, but see some fingerprints too, but uh, really nice wood grain, really nice piece of mahogany. Uh, so some of the plastics on here. I just, I think that you can't go wrong if you're looking for a true Gretsch and an affordable price. Uh, I mean, this is really difficult to beat. I mean, the binding's high quality. I'm not seeing any, any quality control issues to note of. Because again, I think that again, the bridge is not so much quality control as just what these bridges do when it comes to the rattle. But otherwise, it's really nice. Bigsby, nice action on it. So, again, I highly recommend these. Uh, sometimes you can find them on sale. They come in a variety of beautiful... That was one of the hardest things. Well, honestly, what made it easy for this one was that uh, the colors I really like, this one was on sale the most when I got it. This one was $140 off. The silver one was $100. And the green one, which I really, really like, wasn't on sale at all. So, uh, but it comes in Cadillac green, this blue, Firebird red, beautiful colors. So... If you're interested, check it out. Please leave any questions below. And until next time, keep on rocking.